Welcome back guys, hope you're all doing well. Once again, it is absolutely miserable over here. And unfortunately, this is the norm for us over here in Melbourne. We get two days of hot days and then another two of miserable weather. It's just feral. Miserable, but still hot. <laughs> I wanted to pay homage to two great comedian actors that have sadly passed away now. Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder in... See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Released back in 1989, these two were comedy legends in my heart, and I'm pretty sure they starred in four movies in total together. I have another favourite of theirs together, but that's for another time. I remember seeing this movie on TV in the 90s, back when I was a kid. Why was I allowed to watch this, you say? You're gonna have to ask my parents for that. I got away with watching so much stuff back then, it's not funny. But even though I was young and I did not understand what was going on exactly in this movie, I still loved it for some odd reason. And this movie is definitely not a kid's flick. So for whatever reason, it just resonated in me. I wanted to go back to watching this 80s movie because it gave me a lot of joy watching it as a kid. And this movie had to be one of the funniest movies hands down ever back then. I'm hoping that hasn't changed now that I'm older. So after 20 years of not seeing this movie, let's get this party started with see no evil, hear no evil. I always wondered why I never see this um, studio studio's logo that often now. Is it because they've um, they're no longer around? But yeah, I used to see it all the time back in the nineties. I don't know what the deal is now with them. I have no clue if they're still around. Oh, I remember the music to this. It was very up to no good mischief sort of sounds. It was really good. Composed by Stuart Copeland. I love how these beginning shots are all about sights and being able to hear things. Oh yeah, that's right. This is New York. What are you damn move? <laughs> of course, because you can't hear it. <laughs> what are you deaf? Look behind you! <laughs> you dumb idiot! Oh, he saw that. That's right, he can read lips. Can't imagine how rough it would be in New York. You're a dumb idiot. You're talking to me? You are a dumb idiot. <laughs> You're talking to me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm yours. <laughs> Just one more <laughs> word. <laughs> He's ready to deck him. Uh, dude, it's upside down. <laughs> So apparently um, Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor, they took lessons in becoming deaf and blind by actually going to um, the blind and deaf sort of uh, facilities as well. You mean I'm not white? <laughs> this is a scandal. What do you mean I'm not white? Why did you tell me this before? <laughs> God, he's making a fool of himself. Goodness gracious, do you know a lot of adjustments have to be made? <laughs> ah, ah, goodness gracious, that's your right! <laughs> Come on, Sammy! You, yeah. <laughs> you can't see! <laughs> Come on, you <laughs> the guy, the, the guy's like, what the hell are you looking at? You shouldn't have quit your job. Look, the man treated me like I was blind. Uh, you are blind? There's a vicious rumor going around this building that I'm deaf. I don't know how it started, but I don't like it. It's very humiliating. <laughs> okay, so they're both in denial. <laughs> what is it with the two of them? They have to prove to themselves that they don't suffer from illnesses. Excuse me, sir. Oh, nice to say, isn't it? <laughs> Would you help me across? Yeah, uh, take my arm. Are you kidding me with this? <laughs> You're both blind. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, you're both blind. <laughs> hey, Bill, how am I doing? Great. That's great. <laughs> Here you are, safe and sound. If you get in any trouble, just holler. The blind leading the blind. <laughs> yes, I'm here about the ad in the paper. Salesman wanted must have sense of humor. Yeah, you definitely have sense of humor. Who are you talking to? Oh, <laughs> I'm David Lyons. Pleased to meet you, David. Oh. oh, God. There's your first red flag. Are you talking to me? 225. Listen, man. 200. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you, you prick. <laughs> I'm blind. Finally admits it. I'm really blind, man. What are you, <laughs> deaf? Yes. I'm <laughs> deaf. 
And just like that, a friendship is bonded. Hey, Sorry? Who do you think you are? David Lyons. You must be Harvey Wallbanger. <laughs> Oh, he didn't realize it was a drink, Harvey Wallbanger. <laughs> yeah, real comedian. Get off my jacket. Oh, hey, listen. Oh, what an You know, when I was in the core, we used to eat you green beret for breakfast. Eat this! Oh, God. He could put a hole through your <laughs> him and his holes. <laughs> him and his holes. <laughs> Come on, face. Last night I was out with your sister. Okay. Oh, oh, God, are you serious? You're gonna hit a blind guy? 11 o'clock! Nice one. I love how no one wants to interfere on this. Everyone's just looking. Read my lips! I got that. <laughs> <laughs> we should hang out like this more often! <laughs> oh, God, honestly. I wasn't born deaf. I got scarlet fever in high school. Ooh, that's how. Damn. That's tough. Nice lady? Very nice. Wonderful, warm woman. And then one day, she turned into this amazing creature who could sit on the end of a broomstick and take off into the air. She could actually achieve flight. <laughs> I think I was married to that lady once. <laughs> so much for women, hey? What do you want out of life before the show's over? I think just not to make a fool out of myself. Haven't you guys already made fool of yourselves before? <laughs> I can fix all your problems in 10 seconds. <laughs> well, he wasn't wrong. He did fix it in 10 seconds. <laughs> you look a little silly to me. Kind of foolish. Well, I think it's all complicated. <laughs> I love the comedy aspect to it, but I also love, like, you know, the analogy to it. It's just, you know, I fixed it. You really did fix it, right? Because I did it. I made you look like a fool now, so you can't really feel that way, really, again. Can you? Never say never, I guess. <laughs> oh, the coin. That's ringing a bell. What was that all about? Kelsey and Rich. Where are you back going? To the tab. Ooh, pretty lady in red. You're dead. Don't you don't go with me. Oh. Oh, damn. That was unfortunate. Oh, my God. He didn't even hear it. Oh, God. And he can't even see him. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And he touches the gun. Quick, get out of there. Throw it away. Get rid of it. <laughs> Oh, he takes the coin, whatever it is. All right, no more bullshit. Was there or wasn't there a woman? Are you serious? Yes, I'm goddamn serious. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a woman? <laughs> was there a woman present? Yes, there was a woman present. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why is he talking like that? Because he's deaf, not stupid. <laughs> now between the two of you, you saw and you heard everything. Right, totally. I think I can prove to a judge that both of these men had the men's rear. <gasps> what is that? It just means the intention to commit a crime. Oh god, are you kidding me with this? That's lousy investigation. We both use condoms. How is this possible? What on earth does he think men's rear is? <laughs> men's rear! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought Gene Wilder always portrayed a crazy person so well. <laughs> oh my god, it is a young Kevin Spacey. This woman is absolutely beautiful. Who is she? Joanne Severance. I have no idea who she is, but she reminds me of a Wonder Woman. So I looked this up. Here I am thinking it's some sort of a pimple on Kevin Spacey's face, but it turns out it's an actual cyst and um, he later on removed it down the track. But yeah, poor guy. Can you imagine a cyst on your face like that? He's not facing the camera? No! <laughs> That's better. Hold it. Ah, oh, for God's sakes. Shit! Shit! <laughs> shit! 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 Is she saying shit or ship? Shit! Shit! <laughs> you're finished. I'll get you when you're sleeping. When he's sleeping. <laughs> My God, it's uncanny. It's literally Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman! Ah, he recognized the legs. The legs. Yes, I can imagine. The legs! <laughs> uh, do you really think you can stop comedy? Not if it's funny. A good comedy, as you call it, is worth its weight in gold. Have you ever? <laughs> he didn't hear it properly. <laughs> I feel ridiculous. You look fine to me. <laughs> it's us. Your lawyers. 
Shalimar. That's right. Shalimar. <laughs> yeah, I have code names for women and men as well. The uh, kidders. Where'd you learn to lip read? Underwater? <laughs> I don't know what you're looking for, but it's a little to the right. <laughs> you're a very sick woman. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Mr. Carew, what would you like? I suppose the f is out of the question. <laughs> Love is honesty. <laughs> it's three o'clock. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> it's ten o'clock now. Wait, twelve o'clock. Make up your mind! <laughs> It is not 12 o'clock. Yes, it's 12 o'clock. It's 11 It's 12 o'clock! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's driving. How are you doing? Don't look at me, watch your Oh, make you feel better. <laughs> what difference is it gonna make? Where are you going? These streets are bumpy. At least they were already dead. How the hell can you narrate to a blind guy how to drive? <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? You guys are gonna try and switch now? Wally, I can't see! I can't see! <laughs> Wally, I can't drive if you don't get the seatbelt! Oh my god, and he's pressing on the accelerator. I got it! <laughs> oh my god. So he presses on the accelerator more. <laughs> You're always watching out for me. You never get me into trouble. <laughs> Sometimes life is a little boring with you. <laughs> but that's a small price to pay for such a wonderful friendship. It is a unique friendship. Right now I'm a little overwhelmed by the stink of the 7,000 tons of garbage that you drove me into. <laughs> is that what it is? I thought you let one go. <laughs> Too funny to get a laugh. <laughs> oh, they're on the newspaper. Back, 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 Wally, back, and turn, and one, two, three, and turn. Very good, that's not. <laughs> oh my god, ew. I wonder what they were up to. <laughs> she said she was 18. <laughs> Jeez, the county's Three. really cracking down. Ew, where are they? Adele, this is my dear friend, David Lyons. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> I'm from Sweden! <laughs> Yo, hello, Hanson! From Sweden, I'm a Swede, and you're a sweetie! <laughs> you know, you're one of the most beautiful women I have ever seen. It's a pure stereo! <laughs> you're such a nice little. Oh, there he is again! He's gonna rub it off, aren't you? <laughs> no! Wait! I need some. Oh my god, don't let go. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Oh god, that would have hurt. The eminent Swedish gynecologist, Dr. Conrad Johans. No. <laughs> Hands over your head. Both. Both of them. As if you fall for that. This is the best relationship I've had with a woman in eight years. <laughs> so long, sweetheart. Another time, another place. Oh my god. <laughs> is that what I think it is? <laughs> Doctor, which exercise would you find most beneficial to geriatric sexuality? Oh my god. <laughs> well, some of my patients prefer walking, some prefer bicycling, but for the best results, to guarantee satisfaction, most of them like <laughs> You know, punta, punta, punta. <laughs> punta, punta, punta. <laughs> He's a genius. I love him. Who are you, sir? Fine, thank you. Now just read. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, sometimes it comes. 
just like that. How do you treat it, doctor? God, as if you fall for it. <laughs> and you tell me the first thing that pops into your brain. <laughs> and just like that, he's cured. See, if he gets too excited too soon, it comes right back. Gently. Oh my God. This guy's blind as a man. Oh, for God's sake. Good abend. Abend. Good abend. Well, I'm with the police. Now, if I brought you in some pictures, could you... Oh my god. How many times does he have to hit something? A parking brake has been released. Oh no. I don't see what could go wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. I thought they both did such a great job of actually pretending to be blind and deaf. But this morning. I threatened to shoot a naked woman with my <laughs> What an idiot. <laughs> Damn you. I created a monster. <laughs> Gold doesn't chip and peel away like this. Oh, then what is it? <laughs> oh shit, watch out for the dog. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what is that? No, 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 no. Oh, no. Ow. I'm delighted to see you too. So you're the fat that runs the show. <laughs> Can you imagine an electric cable the size of that coin that could light up an entire city? Okay, that's impressive. Would you say that's fair? Oh, uh, he's going to shoot him. Yes, I'd, I'd say that that's extremely fair. And Kevin Spacey is down. Oh my God, he's blind as well. Oh my god, really? Yes, I think that's very fair. You're down. Shouldn't fall for that. <laughs> I'll even wait for you if you want. <laughs> Why would you wait for her? I just knocked over a tree! You said we wasn't up high! <laughs> Perfectly timed. They told us to feel around. See what's happening. Oh my god. There is no way on earth they would be able to get away with making a movie like this now in today's day and age. Oh, you do speak English. Alright, come on over here. <laughs> Captain Brandon. You're, you're No, 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 Captain. <laughs> are you telling me that I, I can't shoot them? No, sir, I'm afraid. <laughs> Them. What kind of a police officer are you? God, these two have gone through more than any other normal person would have gone through a lifetime. I have a lot of love for you. Thank you. Oh God, this again. I'm not handicapped. I have you. <laughs> these two loonies, I swear, they're great together. <laughs> That still holds up so well. I loved it. Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor are both fantastic geniuses. I love them. They work great together. Absolute comedy geniuses. I think my favorite scene was when they are both pretending to be Swedish doctors in that meeting. That was so funny. How he's talking about, well, I can't even say what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this one as well. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you have any ideas, please let me know down below. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you all soon. Take care.